Hi students, in this video we will be solving question number 1 from the exercise 10.3. You go to playlist and look for straight lines. In that folder you will be able to find all the sums related to this chapter and also you can find the derivations. Now let us check question number 1. Reduce the following equations into slope intercept form. They have given us three equations. We have to bring it to slope intercept form and we have to find their slopes and y intercepts. That is in the sum we are only going to change the form of the equation of the line and we will find their slopes and y intercepts. Now if you look at the equation what is the form it is in? It is in the general form of a straight line that is it is in the form of ax plus by plus c equal to 0. Isn't it? Yes. We are going to reduce this form to slope intercept form. Now let us consider the very first equation given that is x plus 7y is equal to 0. If you check this equation, the constant term here is 0. We have x term and we have y term. The constant term is 0. Okay. Now we will write the slope intercept form. What is that form? Slope intercept form is y is equal to mx plus c where m is the slope of the line and c is the y intercept. If you remember, I had already told you if this constant term is 0, then the equation of the line would be y is equal to mx. That is if the y intercept is 0, the equation of the line will be y is equal to mx which means the line passes through origin. Is this clear? Yes. So this is the slope intercept form where you will find only y term in the LHS and x and the constant which is the y intercept will be in the RHS. Okay. This is the form. So, now to bring it to this form, we will keep 7y in the LHS and move the x term to RHS which will be 7y is equal to minus x plus 0. Now, here the term is only y. The term only has to be y, not 7y. So, to make this y, we will divide throughout by 7 which will be y is equal to minus 1 by 7 into x plus 0. Now, have you reduced it to slope intercept form? Yes, we have reduced the given equation into slope intercept form. On comparing with the standard form, what do you get? This minus 1 by 7 is slope and y intercept is 0. So, this is a line passing through origin. So, this is the slope and this is the y intercept. Very simple, isn't it? Yes, we shall solve for the second equation now which is 6x plus 3y minus 5 is equal to 0. Again the equation is in general form as ax plus by plus c equal to 0. So this general form is being reduced to slope intercept form. To do that I will retain 3y in the LHS and move the 6x and this minus 5 to the RHS. So it is 3y is equal to 5 minus 6x. Now we do not want 3y. What we want is just y. So we are going to divide throughout by 3 which gives us y is equal to 5 by 3 minus 6 by 3 into x. We will just rearrange the terms in the RHS to bring it to this form which gives us y is equal to minus 2x plus 5 by 3 required form. So this gives us the required form. You compare it with the standard form. What is it? Coefficient of x gives us the slope which is minus 2 and this constant term is y intercept which is 5 by 3. So we can conclude now. The above equation is of the form y is equal to mx plus e. That means we have reduced it to slope intercept form and on comparing we got the slope as minus 2 and y intercept as 5 by 3. Shall we go to the next equation? Yes. And the next equation is y is equal to 0 before solving anything. Do you identify this equation? After solving two exercises on straight lines, you should be able to identify this equation. That is, this is a equation of x-axis itself. y is equal to 0 is equation of x-axis, right? Yes. What is the slope of x-axis? You already know this. Slope of x-axis is 0. It does not make any angle with the positive direction of x-axis. That is, it's the x-axis itself. So, the angle of inclination is 0. So, slope is 0. That is why we do not have an x term here. Then, y-intercept. It is x-axis itself. How will there be a y-intercept? 
So again, y intercept is 0. So this is the standard form of slope intercept form. So just to write the equation in the standard form, we can write it as y is equal to 0 into x plus 0. Why did we even write this? Because in the question it is specified that reduce it to slope intercept form. So we have written it in the slope intercept form where slope is 0 and y intercept is also 0. So on comparing with a standard form, slope is 0, y intercept is 0. Is this clear? This is an easy sum. We have just reduced the standard form to slope intercept form and comparing with the standard form, we have written the slope and the y-intercept. You just have to remember all the standard forms of equation. If you still have any doubt, please do mention it in the comment section.